Monday afternoon in the big sky. Bob McGuire with you here in the Q2 Weather Center. And as you see off in the distance, looks like we got some showers over there in the Beartooth Mountains. But back here in the Billings area, right now it's just mostly cloudy and 70 degrees with winds out of the west at 24, gusting to 31 miles per hour. Around the rest of the state, temps are mostly into the 50s and 60s, except for Billings and Worland, where both of those areas are in the 70 degree range. They're the hot spots. Right now, our thunderstorm outlook shows a couple of areas where we could see some isolated thunderstorms today, some to the west of Billings, some to the east of Billings. And right now, the Doppler radar does show you we have high pressure pushing air into the state. Low pressure cell to the east, also slinging a little moisture back at us. Right now, the Glasgow radar is down, so we're not seeing too much in the way of uh, rainfall there, but we are getting some rain in that area. Plus, over in the Beartooth Mountains, we're looking at some scattered rain showers coming out of there. That stuff will be heading into the Billings area, we think, sometime about maybe 5 or 5.30 tonight. Then that goes away, and then look for dry conditions overnight, but more rain showers moving in by 7.30 in the morning on Tuesday. And then after that, more heavier showers start moving into the area by Tuesday night. Then on Wednesday, the floodgates get thrown open, and look at all the showers. Thunderstorms continue to pour in from the south. That stuff will continue to push it away into the Billings area right on through most of Wednesday. It looks like Billings can actually wind up with about two inches of rain out of that. Jordan about two and a third, so a lot of rain right through the central part of the state because of that. Now, temperatures will continue to stay in the 70s. The rest of today will cool back down to the 50s in the morning, back up to 64 about this time tomorrow afternoon. We'll top out at 65 on Tuesday and eventually work our way back up to the 70s by Friday and Saturday, and then back to 75 on Sunday. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News or you can check us out online at ktvq.com.